Hello there. Have you ever wanted to live in the jungle, climb trees, live with monkeys, throw fruit at monkeys? Well, you actually can. In Disney's Tarzan for the PlayStation 1. Tarzan Boy was developed by Eurocom, known for smash hits such as Disney's Hercules, 40 Wings, Duke Nukem 64 and Sensible Soccer. That's an odd name for a soccer game. And published in 1999 by Disney Interactive and Sony Computer Interactive for the PlayStation version while the N64 and PC version were published by Activision and in Japan by Konami. The Game Boy Color version was developed by Digital Eclipse. But I'm here to talk about the PlayStation version, because PlayStation is life. Okay, hold, hold on, hold on. I played this game so much as a child and this is the first time that I noticed this. You can actually change the difficulty. Wow. Okay, let's play it on hard. The old man gives us a side look as to say, Are you really sure about that? How hard can it be? It's a kid's game. The game is mostly a side-scrolling platformer with 3D models and occasionally a running level. The story is identical to the movie as you start as a young boy left alone in the jungle by his parents because, yeah, they're dead! And growing up with apes. Yeah, I'm not going to tell the whole story of the movie, you've probably seen the movie by now, if not, how the hell can you live with yourself? It's so good. The goal of the game is to go from A to B while encountering all sorts of obstacles like monkeys. So, Tarzan is raised by apes and monkeys and gorillas and the main enemies in the game are monkeys. Yeah, great idea Eurocom. You could have used any other animal as an enemy like uh, kangaroos. All right, let's get this ball rolling. Graphics look pretty good, there's a lot going on around like animals in the foreground, birds flying over, the jungle feels alive. Except for that hyena who sounds like a normal cat. So basic Disney game fashion, you collect coins on the way, collect 100 coins and you gain a new life. Well that's not very nice Tarzan. Your basic attack is throwing fruit in the animals faces, simple as that. You can throw high and low. Along the way you can collect different kinds of fruits, some serve as a health bar extender while other replenish your health. Then there are the purple, red and blue ones that you can throw for a higher damage. You can find the letters of Tarzan's name hidden in the levels, they give you an extra cutscene if you collect them all. In the first couple of levels they are fairly easy to find, but in the later levels they are very well hidden, some are even ridiculous. How would someone know that? You encounter them in order so you can tell when you've missed one. Which sucks when you're in a new level where it's not possible to backtrack. Remember this cute scene from the movie? Well, they also made these sketches a collectible in the game for you to find. Four per level to be exact. These, like the letters, are hidden from the main path but are not that hard to find in the first level but can get more difficult towards the end. Collect four of them and you get a bonus level at the end. Talking about these bonus levels, I like how they are varied from floating on lily pad to tree surfing to running away as stuck from Kerchak dressed as a woman. You can collect the purple fruit to extend your bonus time, but you have to be precise though, as these have the tightest hitboxes I've ever seen. I'm sorry to tell you this, my boy, but I don't think the animals like you very much. You get coconuts dropped on you by birds, eagles trying to fly in your face, elephants running you over, so you have to protect yourself. Besides the fruit throwing, you have your other weapon, your knife. Not that the animals are going to be afraid of you with that pathetic excuse of a stab. 
And no wonder they hate you. All you do is piss them off, throwing fruits on their faces or their back, forcing them to run while you sit on their back, jumping on them for your own welfare, destroying the jungle while you're at it. I could go on. You're a naughty boy, Tarzan. Naughty. Oh my god, guys, it's him. <laughs> oh my god, there he is. I'm gonna go say hi. Hey, Tarzan. I like that the levels, like in a real jungle, are not on the same horizontal level all the time. You actually have to climb higher up in the trees, swing on vines to get to the other side and make big leaps. It really gives you the sense that you're high up in the trees. The first and only boss fight in the game besides the end boss is Sabor the Leopard. Maybe it's because it's on hard difficulty but this one gave me some serious trouble and even a game over screen. Attacking him is not that hard but you have to make sure to hit him before he lunges at you. And then there are these eagles who are probably the most annoying enemies in the game flying in your face just at the moment you want to jump over one of his lunges. Worst part is, you can't even hit them! From this point on, the game really bumped up its difficulty as I died more and more. Maybe it's also because of the fact that I wanted to complete this game 100%, which didn't seem that big of a deal until I played the stampede level and the tree surfing parts. My god, can you put the camera even closer to his body? Maybe in his ass? Hmm? How can I know which sides the coins and the obstacles will be? I have to kill myself every time I miss something, which was anything besides fun and you don't have a lot of continues, so I had to retry whole levels to get there. The music is spot on as it plays the melodies of the original score sung by Phil Collins. No, not that one. Yes. Besides Tarzan, you also play as Tuck in one level, in the cam breaking level that is, and he feels more sluggish than Tarzan, especially the jumping. Ah oh yes, there's this bridge section where I lost all my continues just because you can't see where the planks are going to break. It's these little things that add up and even though it's a decent game, it's still just a licensed game about a movie and doesn't even come close to the heavy hitters. You get served some hilarious game over screens though. Oh my god, it turns out the humans had bad intentions after all. They want to capture the animals and ship them to England to be sold. Who would have thought? From here on out you encounter a new kind of enemy, the humans, who at first seem friendly enough, but after realizing their bad intentions, Tarzan decides to cut them all up on their boat to this happy tune. The final boss of the game is of course Clayton and is divided into two parts. The first part is a shitty pursuit where you have to keep running because he can catch you and kick you off the edge. But you have to also collect the letters on the way and jump over these cat things who seem to always hit you. The trick is to throw the fruit while jumping to kill the cats. Another thing I didn't know is that you can hit Clayton in this stage and make him flinch to win some time. After you get to the top he starts these attack sequences that you have to dodge until he does this weird pose as to say Ha I got you now! To then just miss every shot he takes. Hit him with some fruit shots and he falls off the edge finishing the game. Honestly after I found out that the only reward for 100% completing the game is an extra movie cutscene I gave up on this goal because it's just not worth the effort. If the camera would have been zoomed out a bit more during some parts yeah maybe I'd reconsider. Like most other Disney games on the PlayStation 1 this is a decent platformer who doesn't take too many risks. Still it really felt like a living jungle with all the level changes and animals roaming around. I had fun replaying this game but playing as an adult now you can see the errors the game has that you don't really notice as a child. If you haven't played this one and you like platformers and Disney movies, give it a shot. Well I hope you enjoyed this review, if you did consider leaving a like or subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm Mechanical and I thank you for watching, till next time. I know it's the end of the review but keep watching for some outtakes. Well I hope you enjoyed this review. 
If you did, consider leaving a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm Mechanical. Uh Hey Tarzan! Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hey Tarzan!